The Wall Street Journal is writing that the Magnificent Seven stocks are back on top with the industry and the sector gaining more than $5 trillion in market value uh, last year. We've got big tech earnings next week. That's going to yeah. drive the market next week. That is going to be the week to watch next week when all these companies report their quarterly numbers, right? I feel like we're partying like it's 1999. Um, you're starting to see it here. We've seen a more narrow rally this year. They're up 4% already this year. We're only like three weeks into the year, those seven stocks. And valuations now are starting to get pretty rich. You're about 30 times forward earnings. But I think what's going to happen here is I think the Fed is inadvertently going to create a speculative bubble here. Because what's happening is you have over almost $6 trillion in cash at 5%. That rate's going to come down as the Fed cuts this year. The momentum in those stocks is just magnificent right now, no mm. pun intended. That's where money's going to flow. And I think what you're going to see here is a powder keg of this cash just coming in, buying the S&P 500, which basically gets funneled into those seven names, pushing them much further here. But the problem is at this point, in my opinion, much more overvalued than the rest of the market. You know, investors are going to put their money in the wrong place. Even, even Apple, the juggernaut, $3 trillion market value. I mean, that's not trading at the valuations that some of the others are, still even though it's $3 trillion. Yeah, but it's still like 30 times forward earnings, which is okay. way above where it does, okay. where it trades historically. So it is, all right. And I think conventional wisdom, which is usually wrong, it's like I couldn't find a strategist that said we weren't going to go into recession last year. I can't find a strategist today that says the Magnificent Seven won't go down.